This is the last example for this problem on slide um, 103 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. Here, we're actually going to be calculating the pH of a buffer solution. So question states, the Ka, or the acid dissociation constant for acetic acid, is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. What is the pH of a buffer prepared with one molar acetic acid and one molar acetate ion? So the problem gives us the reaction acetate, um, or sorry, acetic acid plus water gives you hydronium plus the acetate ion. So notice here, only thing that's exchanged is a hydrogen ion. Acetic acid has donated that to water, it loses the hydrogen ion, becomes C2H3O2 minus and H2O becomes H3O plus. So the strategy for this is going to be to write an um, acid dissociation constant equilibrium expression for this reaction and use our given Ka value as well as the concentrations of acetate and acetic acid to solve for hydronium ion concentration, which we can then plug into the pH equation um, and solve for pH. So to write this expression, Ka is equal to, remember it's product concentrations multiplied by each other over reactant concentrations. So our Ka is going to be we're looking at products H3O plus and C2H3O2 minus. H3O plus C2H3O2 minus. And then on the bottom, we're going to leave out water because it's a liquid, it's not aqueous. And then it's going to be the acetic acid. HC2H3O2. Now, ultimately, we're going to use this equation to solve for H3O+. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by HC2H3O2. HC2H3O2 and I'm going to divide both sides by C2H3O2 C2H3O2 which gives me new expression H3O plus is equal to Ka times HC2H3O2 over C2H3O2 minus. And then I'm going to plug in my values. So we're given Ka up here. Ka. And then we're given acetic acid concentration and then we're also given oops use a different color for that acetate ion concentration so we plug everything in 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 1 over 1 so literally, H3O plus is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, because 1 divided by 5 is 1. So then, ultimately, we're solving for pH. Remember, pH is equal to negative log of our hydronium concentration. So if we plug that in, pH is equal to negative log of... 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, we get that pH is equal to 
4.74. And that, my friends, is your final answer. That's the pH of our prepared buffer, 4.74.